It's, uh, You're new. A Miss America is just a beautiful thing. Miss Georgia. When she stopped sucking her thumb, she immediately started singing. It was like there was music bottled up behind that thumb. And as she pulled the thumb out and began to sing, we were amazed. We had to put an appliance in her mouth to stop her from sucking her thumb. And when she had nothing else to do, then she sang. And she carried a tune, had a perfect vibrato, and had perfect pitch, and we knew we were onto something. When our, we heard Betty sing when she was little, I just thought, oh my gosh, what a gift. And uh, I just always felt like she, would, she was meant to use that for something, something good. And I didn't know how it would happen. I didn't know if this was it, but, um, but I'm so glad it is, because what an honor, what an honor. There's a life that I am meant to lead, a life like nothing I have known. I can feel it, and it's far from here. I've got to find it on my own. I'm Miss Georgia 2015, Betty Cantrell. Born and raised in Middle Georgia, I grew up on a farm where I learned to drive a tractor. Although I'm a proud Georgia girl, I have a big dream of moving to New York and performing on Broadway. She would be awesome and wicked. <laughs> she, her voice, um, she, can, she can sing anything. She just does what she needs to do. She, she's got such a natural talent that exists with inside of her. Um, it's that, and it's intuitive. Uh, you don't find many intuitive students in theater, but she has this intuition of where to go and what to begin. And then directing, of course, was uh, great for me because anything I asked her to do, she was able to do very quickly. Betty in ninth grade coming to auditions and she opened her mouth to sing and myself and the other couple of students that were there about fell off of our chairs. We kind of looked at each other and went, oh, okay. Um, she was phenomenal. Her performance, her poise, her voice, but it was never just about singing. She could actually perform a song too. She had a very nice voice. Um, and she loved to sing, and she would do anything I asked of her. It was amazing to see uh, how she developed through the years. Uh, when she sang Astonishing in Little Women, um, it gave me chill bumps. It was just, a, it was amazing and astonishing. She's a hard worker, and uh, in, anything that you ask her to do, she's going to do it. And the, the opera she sang was just unbelievable. I had chill bumps. I was just so proud of her for what she has become in her music. She wants Broadway. I expect her to make it all the way. You know, we're just excited that, that she had a chance to, to perform on that national stage. So in terms of what we were thinking, mostly we were thinking, call her name, call her name, because they had so many different rounds and it seemed like she was always at the end. Hey, oh, I think that uh, she will be beautifully received uh, and I think that uh, she has a light to shine. She does. I think she will absolutely and completely embrace uh, the role of Miss America and try to do it uh, justice and honor and um, and represent in a way that I hope the country will be proud, or she can make the country proud. She's the real deal. She's a real, genuine person. Her, her, uh, 
Her rudder is deep. And what I mean by that is she's got some strong roots and um, <clears throat> you know, all of that, I guess, glitz probably isn't going to affect her very significantly. She's just a kind, wonderful soul. Someone who probably wouldn't be what one might think of when they think of the word celebrity. She's a, she's the real deal. They